Hi everyone, my name is Mike from uh, KI Legal. I'm joined here today with uh, Bianca Colosuano from Compass Real Estate and Rafael Reyes from Loan Depot, sales manager. Thanks guys for joining us today. Pleasure. Uh, so today we just kind of wanted to touch on what's going on in the world of real estate, both on a national level and also in the New York City, Queens market area. A lot of things have changed since COVID um, and I can't say it enough. Daily I get questions and I'm sure both of you also get questions from your, your clients and customers as to what is going on, how have things changed, is it any different and quite frankly it's, it's a very fluid situation and uh, it's great to be here with both of you so we can get some context from all sides of the coin as they say. Um, with that, let's, let's get it going. Uh, Raphael, what have you seen on the uh, mortgage side of things on a national level? How, are they different? Are underwriters being a bit more conservative? Just give us some context on and inclusive of rates. You yeah, know, it's um, incredibly interesting what, what COVID created. Um, Pretty much a refinance boom, obviously. Uh, we uh, were able to obviously create enough manpower to absorb a lot of the refinancing, creating additional jobs, obviously. And most importantly, I mean, it's the purchase market. I mean, I, I think everyone just woke up and decided that it's now or never, right? Like the world is ending, we need to buy a home or something like that. And ultimately, a lot of people just got off the fence. And it's inspiring to see because I always say someone can own a home, right? And, and a lot of people just feel very comfortable in their setting. And, uh, and ultimately, they began to look under the hood and say, can I do this, right? Can I leverage my 401k? Can I maybe uh, look at something that maybe is not my dream house, but something that I feel comfortable with? And uh, the amount of pre-approvals we have out there is, is incredible. Um, and the problem is that they can't find any homes to buy. Uh, that's one of the major that, that, issues. That's a, that's a tremendous issue. And, and we're going to go to that right next. But And I don't want to spend too much time on it, but the refi boom, right? That preceded COVID. Do you see those new files of refinances, consolidations in New York? Do you see them slowing down on, a, on, a, on an amount level? Or, or are we still... Full speed ahead. We try to start dried up uh, up until about two weeks ago. Um, you know, what's today, the 29th, right? Yeah. So up until two weeks ago, we started seeing a dramatic and very uh, fast moving rise in rates. And thankfully, I'm not sure what happened there, but now they've, uh, they've obviously improved significantly and, and opened up another window for those that might have, you know, missed the boat. The applications are still coming in. Uh, I think now what you're starting to see is a lot of cash out refinances, you know, because the equity has gone up so much due to a hot market. Now people discover that they have all this equity and, um, you know, they're separating some of their, their, their gains there to potentially buy a second home yeah. or maybe invest in another piece of real estate. So it's very interesting. I mean, the liquidity out there is incredible. Um, obviously, there's a lot of money with government stimulus. Um, obviously, consumers have benefited from, you know, the government stimulus. And um, and yeah, I mean, people are putting it to work. You, know, you see the stock market's going higher. I mean, everyone's for now. There's, right? there's a lot of liquidity. Yeah. So a lot of cash. You know, the lack of affordable housing mm -hmm. uh, on a federal level, uh, national level, I should say. You, know, you keep reading it every day, and whether it's the real deal of the New York Times or all these periodicals, that people are fleeing primary markets. They're fleeing New York, Los Angeles, and heading to secondary markets like Phoenix, right. uh, Miami. What are you seeing on your side? 